Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's question I got from one of my subscribers and here is a question. A cross between a pea plant that has tall stem and uh, purple flowers with another unknown phenotype plant for both characteristics produce these ratios. Three tall stem purple flowers, three tall stem white flowers, one short stem purple flowers and one short stem white flowers. What the phenotype of unknown plant for both characteristics? If you know, tallness is dominant over the shortness and purple is dominant over white flowers. It is a very easy problem, but uh, some of you can be confused because didn't use to solve this type of problems. But actually, all you need to know in order to solve this problem, just how to use a simple Punnett square. And of course, how to work with ratios. Take a look. What ratios we have here in uh, progeny? We have uh, three tall and we have two traits here, a color and tallness of the plant. So we have three tall, another three tall, one short and another one short. So what is our Ratio is going to be 3 plus 3 is going to be 6. 1 plus 1 is going to be 2. So we have 6 to 2 ratio. It is the same as 3 to 1 ratio. Do you agree with me? And we can get such ratio if we cross one heterozygous and tall plant with another heterozygous and tall plant. In this case, take a look what we are going to get. In the progeny, we are going to get the following phenotypes, genotypes and ratios. Capital A, capital A here, capital A, small a here, capital A, small a here and small a, small a here. So all these plants are going to be phenotypically tall. So three to one ratio, three to one, just like what we see here. So we know that um, unknown uh, plant have to be tall and have to be heterozygous, just like known plant, which we know is tall. Now let's talk about second characteristic uh, which is color of the flowers. So we have three purple, then we have also one purple and we have three uh, with white flowers and uh, one with white flowers. So as you see, we have uh, four to four ratio, four purple and four white. We also can say that this is the same as one to one ratio. And we know that purple is dominant trait. And we can get such a ratio if a known plant would be heterozygous. So would be capital B, small b genotype. And another plant in order to get one to one ratio have to be homozygous recessive. In this case, if we build simple Punnett square, we are going to get one to one ratio. Take a look. So we are going to have here capital B, small b, capital B, small b, small b, small b, small b, small b. And uh, this plant is going to be purple. This is known genotype and unknown genotype have to be white. And in the progeny, we are going to have uh, one to one ratio. 50% uh, is going to be purple and 50% is going to be white. And as you see, this is the same ratio as we see here. So now we can say the phenotype of unknown parent, phenotype and genotype is basically here. So it is for 
tallness heterozygous and for the second characteristic color would be homozygous recessive. This is genotype and phenotype would be tall with white flowers. Here is genotype and phenotype of known plant. It is tall and has purple flowers. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day and see you in the next video. Goodbye.